everybody. Welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, a doctor, lawyer, turned homeschool mom of three kids ages 11, 8, and 6. In today's video, I'm bringing you a really quick game review of the game Tenzi and 77 Ways to Play. This was sent to me in exchange for my honest review at a reduced rate by Timberdoodle.com, which is a website that I love for finding new and exciting games and supplements to my core curriculum. I will link all of Timberdoodle's information in the description box down below. If you're interested in videos like this and videos about secular homeschooling, raising a child with ADHD, and living a more essentialist lifestyle in general, you have come to the right place, so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Nowadays, if you don't wanna miss any of my new videos, you do have to hit that subscribe bell, which is also down there, that notification bell rather. So if you are interested in these games as well as any of the others in my videos, I do appreciate it when you use my affiliate links. It encourages me to keep sharing this information and also lets companies know that I'm a good person to send things to for review. So I appreciate your support. So now, first off, I actually bought Tenzi ages ago and Tenzi is an awesome game. It was rated one of the best games as you can see here, like best toys for kids. It's super fun. It's incredibly simple on its surface. When you first look at the game, everyone gets 10 dice, someone says go, then everyone rolls and rolls as fast as you can to get the same number. So it's a bit of a um, strategy game in the sense that, so let's say, that I am the player with the green dice, right? So everyone separates out their dice by color. So if we had four players here, we'd have one person with black, one person with red, one person with green, and so on and so forth. So. Everyone starts rolling at the same time, all of your dice. You see, basically the strategy is, basically the strategy is to see which do I have the most of. Okay, I think I have three twos, and so I'm gonna leave those that way, and then I'm gonna roll all the others. And you don't have to wait for anybody else. Everybody's rolling at the same time to try and see if they can get um, all of their dice to be the same the fastest. So as you can see here, I'm almost there, but not quite. I only have one left. And Tenzi is just one of those games that's incredibly fun. Like it sounds like it would be boring. Ah, there I am. And so I would be the winner here. Of course, nobody else was rolling. But that's the basic premise of Tenzi is to be the first person to get all your 10 die to be the same number at once. So when you actually buy the game initially, it does come with instructions where it gives you about four or five other games to play, like Team Tenzi or Splitzy, um, where you are doing little game variations. Team Tenzi is where you do 20 die at once, etc. But when Timberdoodle offered me the chance to review something at a reduced rate, I picked 77 ways to play Tenzi because I really wanted this and I had my eye on this for a while. So this comes with 77 different cards right here. And they have like nice, you know, card texture, like playing cards or something. And on the, so the pack actually comes with, I believe about 80 cards. Three of them are blank, where you have the opportunity to write your own card variation on the card. And then you have 77 different ideas. So here there's partner Z, for example, you can choose partners. One partner rolls and picks up the dice. The other partner separates and collects the dice. The first team to roll 10 Z wins. So it just makes it a little bit faster. One person's like looking and one person's rolling as fast as possible. You have less thank Z. Um, you roll two dice at a time and the total pair of each dice must be less than the total of the previous pair. So that's another way of doing it. Then they have clap C where you clap after each roll. You have pattern cards where the aim is to get this pattern. So you want to have, you know, four threes, four fives, or rather five threes and, and four fives. Double split C, you grab five of your die, roll five of the same number. Once you do that, you roll your other five to get five more of a different number. So five and five. There's a Tenzi app on your smartphone that you can download and you have to roll whichever Tenzi shows up. So that that like just increased your game count to a, a bunch. Uh, off handsy where you use you not your non-dominant hand. There's another pattern here, oddsy and Enzy, which is only a combination of ones, threes, and fives. So as you can see, there's just a huge variety of different types of uh, games. Now we've played this a couple times and basically like we just pick randomly and play a different type every single time, which is super fun because it keeps it from being dull. And I really appreciate this. You could just pick one and just play that one uh, for a while. Like there are some in here that are not speed games, which changes sort of the 
the atmosphere of Tenzi. Here, everyone rolls two dice at a time. Player with the highest total on two dice wins all the dice and sets them aside. Whoever has the most dice after five rounds wins. I really like Tenzi um, for a whole host of reasons. One of them is that it teaches little kids that sort of number awareness really quickly, you know, to really quickly assess, like this is four, this is one, um, this is five. And it gives them that visual awareness of like dots. Die are great for addition games as well and practice. So if you buy a set of Tenzi, you'll have enough die to to take you through all of your math calculations for a while, because if you wanna do multiplication, you can do four times four is, and you can have them in different colors, but you can really have four times 40, right? Because you have 40 die in this one set. So I think it's a wonderful um, game in general. Uh, it keeps it moving really fast. You can talk. It's a game that involves kids and adults. I'm always on the lookout for games where families can play them together. And I'm just a big fan of Tenzi. So this has been a great addition to our game schooling life at home. If you're interested in Tenzi or anything else that Timberdoodle offers, I encourage you to check out my link in the description box down below. When you use my link, it is not an affiliate link, but it does let Timberdoodle know that I sent them your way and that encourages them to send me more products for review. So I appreciate your support. As always, you guys, I know that your time is valuable to you. So I appreciate you spending some of it with me and I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much and I wish you the very best day.